The preparations continue into southern Vermont. NBC5's James Maloney checked in with officials in Rutland. We're preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. The city of Rutland is taking every step before possible storms, going through a laundry list of preparations. Cleaning catch basins. We're also street sweeping. Um, currently, we're filling sandbags just as a precaution. Fire officials say they're also ready with resources to take on high water. We have two boats here in the city. Um, this is one of our, uh, this is our newest one. It's boats like these that helped with a water rescue on Clover Street last year. And while they're on standby, they're also used to help clear overflows like here on Combination Pond. If we know we have a weather event coming in, we locate our people that uh, are trained in swift water. You know, we routinely have our boats on standby throughout the summer months just because of the weather and what we've been enduring lately. First responders say people should take precautions ahead of the weather and stay home during the worst conditions. Typically, a lot of our responses are related to trees that come down in wind and, and, and with the rain. Um, we want to caution the people to make sure that they don't go out in, in this kind of weather. Down power wires, even though they're on the ground, may look safe, but in fact, they're energized. In Rutland, James Maloney, NBC5 News.